In this video, I want to speak to you about fear. I'd rather be you. So yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video today on the channel and in this video I want to speak to you about fear and the importance of actually overcoming it because the truth is everything you have ever wanted and anything that's worth having is on the other side of fear and the, the truth is and what's really really sad is that 99% of people don't end up reaching their goals or even end up trying to reach their goals because of fear, because of things that scare them, because of their limiting beliefs they tell themselves that they're gonna fail, what if this happens, okay? And today I wanna tell you a little bit of a story about myself, I just wanna keep this video short really. I wanna tell you about the biggest changing point in my life and why everything that I have today, you know, a six figure agency, a personal band where I impact thousands of lives every single year, you know, I'm trying to take over the world here, build the most amazing training programs, build an audience, you know, all of this stuff that I'm doing today, going on holidays, treating my fiance to trips around the world, all this cool amazing stuff that I used to dream of doing, I'm able to do now. It's all because of one pivotal moment in my life. And I wanna tell you guys a little bit about that and hopefully it will give you a bit of motivation to next time you have a bit of fear, to just overcome that fear, okay? Just to backtrack two years before I started my online business, I was in a position where I was miserable, right? I was a university dropout, I dropped out twice. You know, I dropped out the first time I was currently at university doing a second course, still miserable. I was working a minimum wage job, stacking shelves. I hated my job, I was super unfulfilled, I was tired, I was miserable. And it got to a point for me where enough was enough. I just had to start my online business. You know, my whole life growing up, I always said I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to start my own company, but I was always procrastinating it. I never did it, you know. I was going to uni because I had no direction. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I got to a point where I realized, look, for me, I'm in a position right now, I'm a university student, I'm not going to lectures, I'm failing, I'm hating what I'm doing, I've got all this free time, I've got no money, so what have I got to lose? Like, it's now or never, when I'm a bit older and I've got children and I've got a house, I've got all these bills to pay, I'm gonna be in a position where it's harder for me to do it, so I was like, it's now or never. And back when I was growing up, uh, I was always a huge introvert, I was overweight as a child, I didn't have a ton of friends, I used to get bullied growing up. I had the most amazing love in childhood, by the way, though, a most amazing loving family and all that, but I, I was an introvert. I had hundreds and hundreds of days playtime on Call of Duty and all these Xbox games, and I was super unconfident. And the thought of me being a business owner and actually having to speak to other business owners scared the life out of me, but I knew that was what I wanted to do. And one day I just woke up and I started my social media agency. I started doing outreach for businesses, started reaching out to people and business owners. And one day, um, about a week into it, believe it or not, really quickly, I had a business owner reply to me and he wanted to have a phone call. And at that point, fear kicked in. As an introvert, as somebody who was super scared of the thought of speaking to other business owners, had no confidence, had no experience in this business model. All of these what if moments come into my, into my brain. What if he asked me this question and I don't know it? What if he asked me about pricing? What if he calls me an idiot because I don't know what I'm selling? What, what if he calls me out on my bullshit? What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this goes wrong? What if this happens? And all of these what ifs were just eating at me. And I was this close to not taking the phone call with him. Now I promise you this, I went on to take that phone call and that was my first ever client. And that first client of mine became a bit of a mentor to me, helped me get my second and third client, which snowballed into me getting my fifth, sixth, 10th, 20th, 30th client, which grew into my six-figure agency, which then led me to start my personal brand, where I released a training program and offered coaching services and helped change and impact thousands of people's lives. And all of that stemmed, all of that butterfly effect came from that one moment, that one decision that I made to overcome fear and take that phone call. Because if I never took it, I can assure you I would not have closed that client. And I assure you, none of this would have happened. And if it did happen, it would be years down the line. It would not be right now, okay? I am so goddamn grateful. I get to wake up every day and do what I love, okay? And I'm not saying this to brag, by the way. I'm not saying this, look at what I'm doing. Not at all, okay? I really just want to say this to motivate you and show you what can be achieved on the other side of fear. All of those what if moments, a funny thing happened. I got on the phone call and all of those things I was worried about happening, the what if questions, you know, what if he asks me this, what if he says this, what if this happens? None of it happened. I realized it was just a chat. 
He was a business person, he had a problem, I had a solution. 90% of the conversation was just finding out information about each other. He asked me about price. I told him a really low price of like $500 per month. He was like, cool, let's do it. And it was as simple as that. All of this worry and fear for no reason. It was all in my brain, okay? So look, the moral of this video is you do not know what's on the other side of fear. And if you're not doing something that scares you regularly in your business, then you're gonna get left behind. You want to have things in your calendar that scare you, whether you're just getting started or whether you're an experienced business person, whether you've got seven figure agency, a six figure agency, or you've got no clients. You want to do things that scare you. And look, the biggest takeaway is this. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So next time you're scared of doing something, I want you to own it. I want you to think the possibilities if I just say yes. And what is the worst that can happen? So uh, that's a bit about my story. And like I mentioned, that has all come from that one little switch of overcoming fear and not let it swallow me up. Hope you guys found some value. Leave a comment down below of something that you've done and overcome fear, which has led to a positive outcome. Subscribe if you are new and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.